we are going to show you how to handle a squatter the boring way. given somebody 60 day notice because we want to remodel the unit and he has decided to barricade himself inside the unit and we've had to go through the process, legal process, to get him uh, moved into the property after giving proper notice. So we're here now to kind of see what, uh, what that's going to entail. Uh, the constable's here now and they're pounding on the door. The air conditioner's on. They think he's inside, but they don't know. Well, he's not responding. concern right now at this point is that this uh, tenant has been in contact with our office he's um, said that he's gonna harm himself inside um, he said that uh, you know he has no place to live which is not true his mom has a, a place already set up and ready for him but my concern is the mental health of the, of the person inside because he's threatened to harm himself um, during this process can you call him and tell him to let the constable officers in I cannot call him. Yes, I am here at work. But I cannot call him. His phone only works for text. His phone only works for text? Okay, can you yes. text him and tell him to let us in? Let the constable in? I thought this was going to be a nice, boring eviction uh, to remove the squatter, but that is not the case. So I'm actually going to my own truck here to get a crowbar and see if I can get um, our contractors and handyman to uh, break in entry. I don't know if it's actually gonna be uh, simple or if we're gonna have to start breaking windows, but either way, either way, the constable's office has, the constable's office has contacted the Yuma Police Department and now the Yuma Police Department is on its way since they believe that this person is barricaded into the home. So let's see what happens. You got a key? Oh, who's got a key? I'm gonna put. Okay. They got a window, huh? Yeah, but Can't really see much. And I don't see no CP, no key. What is that doing? Yeah. yeah. That's it right there. Can you take the crowbar and push that chair forward? Okay. James, come to the door. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I think. You need to open up the door for these for the constable. Open it up, man. Everything fine, man. We're gonna be we're gonna walk on, okay? Okay, go ahead and move the refrigerator. Move the refrigerator and stuff, James.
See, this is exactly why we needed to get get this get get them out. We gotta re call Cody. We gotta. I mean, we gotta redo all this. He's he's destroying the place. <laughs> okay. Call Cody. <laughs> this is the cra craziest thing I've ever seen. Okay. This is crazy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're having a little bit of an issue here, but okay, so the one on six happening. And there's a nice, clean, big room back here. But he made his own wall out of mailboxes, like a room. Okay. Go get your stuff. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Get this thing and this process because I feel like they just like. Okay, you're also wasting a lot of everybody's time. I know. Like then they move. came and then they left. So okay, it's move. Like, oh, you're they talking move. and not moving. So I'll lose my stuff. And now, uh, if you don't need anything to take with you right now, then let's go. Well, if mean, you want to grab some stuff, stop talking and go grab it. Yes, sir. Move. I'm just asking so we can. Okay, you're talking and not moving, but that's the though, problem. Right? Heard? Okay. Thank God the guy finally came to the door. They pried the door open all the way, or not all the way, as much as they could, and saw that it was barricaded. And then all of a sudden, he pops his head out and says, Hello. Like he hadn't heard us banging and knocking and using hammers and using crowbars to get into the property. So the good news is he did not harm himself. Thank God. I don't know what I would have done if uh, the guy harmed himself inside my property. I mean, this, this is a hard day for any property owner, any property manager. I mean, this is, this is an extremely difficult situation. We had to get the police department out here. We had to have the constable out here. And now what's really interesting is even though we've successfully removed the squatter from the property, all of his possessions, I have to store them. By law, I have to store them for 14 days. He has 14 days to come back to the property and 14 days to come back to the property and pick up his items. Now, what stinks about that is when he comes back, he could barricade himself again into the property. But, but now that I've gone through the proper eviction process, if he comes back here without my permission, I can immediately call the cops and trespass him for being on the property because it is no longer a tenant landlord issue. Now it goes into criminal trespassing. But when somebody lives on a property or squatting on the property, it's a civil matter. So when you have a civil matter, I can't call the police and have somebody removed. That's why all of these squatters get away with being on a property for so long is because you call the police and they say, I can't remove them. It's a civil matter. You got to go through the civil court process, which we've already done in this, in this scenario. Thank goodness. We've already gone through the process, but it's lengthy. It takes time. It costs money. And then on top of that, now I've got 14 days where this tenant can contact our property management company to, to gain access. What we did is we actually removed the doors off of the property so he can't barricade himself back in there. Now, when he's done moving his stuff out, if he doesn't get everything out, he's gotta call me and then I have to come back and put the doors back on, secure the property. I've gotta secure his possessions for 14 days and then he can come back and get the, get the rest of them uh, with my with my permission really thought this was going to be a boring boring way uh, to get the squatter off the property but instead